to 14 points and nine rebounds. And this sort of slow down, grinded out affair is the kind of basketball Ehadadi loves. Whoa, inside to Yee. Oh my goodness. He has some words for Ehadadi as he throws it down on his head. And what about the feed from Guo Aidlun? What a time to make a big play. Again, you're looking for space behind that 2-3 two, two, zone defense. And Yi Jianyan down the baseline, finding that back door. Here's some hope. Nikau Baharami, he almost turns it over. Davapana finds his veteran on the wing. He shakes, he baits, he fires. He's short. There's Guo. He's content to run some half-court basketball. You said it before, Kunido, they don't need jump shots. They can attack the basket. That time, just a little chippy from Joe Chi. He's been hampered by foul trouble tonight, but he's up to six points, and this crowd is just urging their team on. Just what China needed offense. They didn't go to the wings. They went to their money men, the big guys, Yi Jian Ying, Zhou Chi, getting it done. Sahaki into the basket. Zhou Chi blocks the shot. He recovers the board. Here's Guo. He gets the foul at half court. No one between Komrani at the basket. Guo asks for an unsportsmanlike foul. He gets a stare from the referee. How about this block? Joe Chi. I said he's the man with the longest arms in the tournament. Komrani with no intention but to foul and prevent the dunk from Yi. Now that should have been an unsportsman like. Well, it's such a gray area in our exactly. game and it's probably something that the powers that be need to get their heads together and figure out where they stand as Guo. He's been composed the last couple of minutes. This time he finds Joe Chi. Perhaps that one was a little out of his range. 4.20 to play here in the first semi-final of the 2015 FIBA Asia Championship. The crowd is riding every moment. We're taking you through every moment. Hadadi taking you down low. He tries to split the defense. It spills out of court. Four remaining on the shot clock. What a big play here. Ten points the difference. Four minutes to play. Double team on Hadadi. There's Nick Alparami for three. It's short. Who can get the rebound? That shot has not fallen for Iran. Discussions about whether that shot hit the rim. I believe it did. I think it did. The shot clock expired in the background and the ball spilt out of bounds off China. It will be an Iran ball with 14 seconds left to, to shoot for Iran. Well, an experienced lineup on the floor. Four players who have played in five FIBA Asia Championships together and Dava Pana who has been around for a number of years as well. He's a 28-year-old. He played in the 2008 Olympics. This time it's Komrani stepping up. And Adani keeps it alive. Komrani again. One bounce to the left. He fires and misses. And Joe Peng can't keep it alive. So Iran getting multiple opportunities. There's three minutes, 43 seconds to play. What a crucial time. Can China get the stop here? Can Iran bring it back to seven or eight? And somehow not able to get the shot to fall in is Iran and Zhao Pei falling out of uh, the hardcore area. China with a big lineup in. They can't corral the rebound. Iran up to 16 offensive boards for the game. That's probably the only thing that has kept them in this ball game. They go back to two of their veterans. Nikhil Baharami to the spin. Cut off. He has to pitch it to the corner. Kong running off the mark again. Here goes Go Lun. Two on one fast break. He goes himself and finishes. Go Lun. He makes the two. The crowd goes crazy. Look at China celebrate. They're celebrating on the court. They're celebrating in the stands. And this man, when they were little, they told him his name was Go. He hasn't stopped since. He is relentless. And he scores his seventh point of the game to give China a 12-point lead with 3.18 to play until the end. China with one foot in the final. And look at the emotion in this building. And I'm wondering how many assists Iran has in this game so far. They only had one out of 
the first half and they still have one. They have not made a single assist in this half at all. And how about that feed inside from Go? He made some bad decisions at the point guard spot. And here's that jam again, just one more time. Why wouldn't you want to watch that all night long? That's what you call posterizing Barami, the victim of that spectacular play of Yi Jian Young. He has 13 points and eight rebounds. He leads China in both categories. He has stepped up, and we talk about Iran. They lead the tournament with 93 points per game. They have 52 points with just over three minutes to play in this one. Can they produce something special? It would be a comeback for the ages. Shot clock down to six. Air Haddadi with the spin. He's called for the travel. We haven't seen spin moves called to travel much in this tournament. He throws his arms in the air. But time is running out on the defensive champions. Nika Barami on your screens with 18 points. It's been tough to hold down this man, Go Ailun. He brings tremendous space to this Chinese attack. Into the lane again. He feeds it to Zhou Chi. Shot clock at eight. Zhou Peng to Zhou Chi. A nice up fake. Leading shot from the big man is off the mark. He thought he had drawn the foul on Etadade. Wasn't whistled. Still Iran breathe. And there's life, there's hope. Davapana is swatted. Away goes Guo Ailun. Can he put the nail into this one? Contact inside, Joe Ping gets it. Joe Ping finishes it. Joe Ping with a killer blow to Iran. And China lead it by 14 with a free throw to come. Hustle play here for Joe Ping. China had the numbers. Three against two and you see that block. And then on the other side of the floor, Joe Ping picking it up. Three men against two. Had the numbers, they got the job done. It wasn't the prettiest fast break in FIBA Asia Championship history, but if you're a Chinese fan, it was one of the most effective. It was Jai Xiao Chun with the block at the other end. He's checking out now for a rest. An extra ball handler coming in to the game, but what a block from him. And then what a finish from Zhou Peng at the other end. He's up to 12 points. He's got three rebounds. He's got two steals. There has never been any doubt but China has heart. And China showed it when it came from 20 down to beat Korea in the first round of eliminations. And now they're showing tremendous determination behind this here's, home crowd. Here's the battle again. Ehadari inside for the jam. Not even Yi has been able to guard him in the low post. He's up to 16 points. Well, one of the basic elements here in China's defense was they took away the outside shot of Iran. Maybe giving up some shots from the inside. Whoa to Yi, he misses that one. Maybe one last opportunity for Iran to make some inroads. Nick Albar, Rami inside. That one rims out. Ehadadi inside. He turns it over. It's all working for China at the moment. No I learn, he draws the foul. Two and what foul. speed, the streaking go Ailun. Again, the point we were making. China taking away that outside shot from Barami. Inviting him to go inside because they're confident that the picks can handle the situation in protecting the rim. Well, you might have thought the smart play from Guo there was to pull the ball out. He had faith in his speed. He has faith from the free throw line. He's up to eight points. Three rebounds, six assists, and two steals for the 21-year-old who is emerging as one of the faces of Chinese basketball in this tournament. And no changing the momentum here as China continuing to put the pressure. They have been relentless from the opening tip. China led by 14 at three-quarter time. They weathered a blistering storm from Iran that reduced the margin to six. Oh, Yi wipes that one off the glass, and it'll be a China ball. Unforgiving defense. And that's been the story of this ball game. Iran held to just 54 points with 109 to go. We have an overrule. It will be Iran ball with 11 seconds left on the clock. And look at this. 
from Yi. He just sized it up and swatted it. And there's an interesting story involving that man as we see Joe Peng celebrating, Lee Gun celebrating. It's been a night of celebration so far, led by that man and led by Li Gun and Yi Jianlian, as he so often has been for China. But what about the young stars? Joe Chi with some big plays, that man with some massive rim-rocking action. The Just tremendous balance here being shown by China. I mean, you know that you've got a go-to guy, Yi Jian Yang, but so many others have contributed, especially this man, Go Ai Lun, Kid Lightning, nine points. Massive play coming up here. It's 14 the difference. We have a minute and nine seconds until the end. If Iran are going to strike, they must launch it from this possession. Here's Mashuyuki. Bench players all on the court here for Iran. They go into Caduce. Tough shot. Rebounded Zhao Jiwei. That could be all she wrote. China, if they keep their head from here, will be going to the FIBA Asia Championship final. The crowd rises. Listen to them roar. Shot clock at 10. Masha Yika with all sorts of physicality on Zhao Jiwei. It doesn't bother him. It's knocked out of bounds. Two to shoot here for China. Masha Yike riding Zhao Jiwei physically, and Gong Lu Ming says, I'm going to use my final timeout on this possession. 35 seconds remaining. It would take a miracle from here. Golden generation for China. Six players on this Chinese team, 22 years or under. And we see Air Hadadi there, and you can't help but sense it was a chance for him to go back to one more Olympic Games. He played at Beijing in 2008, and that dream all but shattered now, perhaps for Iran. Long shot, Jamshidi with the rebound. Is there anything left? No, Iran will play this one out. The crowd rises to their feet. They understand that China is going to the gold medal game. Jamshidi misses. Here's Jack Charlie for three. This one goes down. Cuts the margin back to 11. And drawing applause from Coach Dirk Barman. That was the final say of this game. Iran still looking to trap. Foul call. And they gave up the foul, and Coach Dirk Barman was saying, well, I mean, the game's over, but they put China to the line. Iran will still go through to the bronze medal game. They will go through to next year's FIBA Olympic basketball qualifying tournament. But by the look on the face of some of their veterans, maybe they feel this was their final shot. And here's Ding at the free throw line to put the final nail in the coffin of Iran's dominance at this level. Iran clearly outplayed here by China on the defensive end. Just bringing down uh, Iran, I mean, a team that's averaging close Point. to 93 points a game. The crowd celebrates as one. They will roar in two seconds' time. Jamshidi with the final shot. It's no good. China celebrate. They are going to the gold medal game tomorrow. They will take on the winner of the Philippines and Japan. They're up next in about half an hour's time. But right now, the moment is about China. Yi Jianlian, he was the superstar tonight, as he so often is. 13 points, 8 rebounds, 4 block shots, as both teams exchange high fives and hugs. It was played physically. There were some spiteful moments.